There are a few places in our world that make you feel like you're on another planet. The Avatar mountain range in China is one of those places. When I first saw Avatar the movie almost 15 years ago, I dreamt of flying through floating limestone mountains on a mystical beast, not knowing that this movie was actually based off of a real place. Today we are going to travel to these famous mountains to experience them for ourselves. To get there we will be taking a very scenic route. For the next four days we are going to be cruising on the Yangtze River, the third longest river in the world. We will be passing through the famous Three Gorges, visit local villages, and eventually land in Ichang, where we will then make our way to the beautiful limestone Avatar Mountains. We just boarded a cruise ship in China. Also, just look at my surroundings right now. There are rolling green hills with rice fields on this side, a beautiful bridge over the river here with boats coming through, airplanes up above, even a train going across the bridge and a cable car. We are currently in the beautiful city of Chongqing, China, and for the next four days, we are gonna be sailing downstream to Yichang. Look at this boat right behind me. That might be the coolest boat I've ever seen. It's like two mooshus at the front of the ship. We just got all checked into our room. We're staying in the family suite, so there's an extra bed over here with a panda bear on it. So cute. Oh my gosh. Is that the panda bear from Kung Fu Panda? Scared me. So this is our room. We have a nice king bed, a little living space over here, and a balcony, which I'm looking forward to. It's dinner time. The food's a little bit exotic. We have things like ground cowboy, bone and flesh are connected, special with two L's, loac with chili oil. I'm never one to judge a book by its cover. Let's try this. These fish still had their heads on. Ow, bone. <laughs> it might be a long four days. What the? How long has that been there? Why is there a crab leg under our table? <laughs> As cool as this city is during the day, I think it's even better at night. Chongqing is known for being a very futuristic city, and at night, everything lights up. Look at this gondola crossing the river right now. What's crazy about Chongqing is it's not one of the biggest cities in China. It's not one of the most visited cities in China. Yet look at this, look how beautiful, look how massive it is. It just goes to show truly how large China is. There's so many cities like this out there, but of everywhere I've been in China, this is definitely one of the coolest places. There was early morning Tai Chi on the ship today. I only caught the tail end of it. It really got me in the mood. Took me back to my days on the Great Wall with Jack, where he was teaching me, hold the watermelon, push it out, and now I want to keep it up. I feel like an animal at the zoo. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> A lot of people are laughing at me. As you can tell, we have made it to our first stop overnight. We cruised to the city of Fengdu, which is right behind me. In just a minute, we're gonna get off and go see a ghost city in the mountains. Whatever that means, let's find out. Just got off the ship here. I asked Chloe if she wanted to come on this excursion. She said, I don't mess with foreign ghosts. I'm good. <laughs> in reality, she did say that, but she's also pregnant right now and she wanted to sleep in and rest today. So I'm gonna fly solo on this one. This does not look like the best water to fish in. What do I know? Jayo, Jayo! I just got the deets on the ghost city and why it's named that, which I'll share in just a moment. I'm taking this cable car to the top of the mountain. That has to be the most beautiful cable car I've ever seen. Beautiful, yes. Fast, no. This thing is crawling. The Chinese love scaring me with their wall art. I got on and this is the first thing I saw. There's a 350 pound stone over here and they say there's only one man in China who can lift it and put it on top of the other stone. Let's see. Oh. 
台上一分钟，台下十年真的。All right, that was actually pretty cool. So many years ago in ancient China in the Hong Dynasty, there were two gentlemen who lived in this city right here. They felt the people and the government around them were becoming corrupt. So they came to the top of this mountain, built a temple and started worshiping their gods. They were Taoist, people found out about what they were doing, they became idols to the city, and it was believed that when they died they became immortalized, and that they still rule over this city today, hence Ghost City. There are tons of different beautiful temples and statues up here honoring them, Buddha, Taoism, and it's just a really cool place. Two, three, run! Go, go, go! Woo! Turn, turn, back, back on the boat, back with the family. Figured now is a perfect time to do a little ship tour. We'll start up here on the top, work our way down. This is deck six, the sun deck. It's about 99,000 degrees out here. So, so bright. <laughs> let's go inside. All the ladies are freaking out over Lennon right now. <laughs> Lennon, say hi. <laughs> oh, Lennon, just like this, really soft. silk. <laughs> They love his hair. They said it's their first time to ever see hair like this, so it's really beautiful. <laughs> There's a gift shop up here on the sixth floor with snacks and toys, but the best part of floor six is this arcade. Oh, get oh I thought you had it. I thought I just got it first try. Why did it let it go? Get him, Lennon. Yeah. No way. I kid you not. I gave him coins to do this. <gasps> he put them in and like went at random and won. Good job, buddy. Our room is also here on the sixth floor. The sixth floor is known as the VIP floor and there's an executive lounge up here that has different drinks and snacks that you can come hang out in. Lennon, what are you eating? On the fifth floor, there's massage chairs and a metal vending machine. The best part of the fifth floor is this. They have karaoke rooms here, and this might be the best thing to ever be put on a cruise ship. When you bring kids to karaoke. <laughs> we also realized today that any room on the sixth floor gets access to this restaurant, which is a VIP restaurant. Which last is, night was a little, I still have goosebumps. A little rough. This restaurant's supposed to be quite a bit nicer. It is lunchtime, so let's check it out. So far, we're looking a little better. We still have our ground cowboy. We have spicy pig ears, and we have bake it salty chicken with an eye, and roasted goose. I'm gonna go for the roasted goose. I thought these were chicken nuggets. It's lotus root. The verdict on the roast goose. It's actually pretty good. How are the pig ears? How's my bowl of tofu? It's fantastic. You need to try the pig ears. It sounds so chewy. Floor 3 is the other restaurant and a music station. You can choose if you want 60s music, 70s and 80s music, or 90s music. Floor 2 is the lobby and reception area. This is the cheapest spa package I've ever seen. You can get a foot bath and golden soup for less than $3. Or ear washing. And the gym. I have absolutely no idea what this thing is. Ooh, that's kind of nice. There's no way I'm doing this right. And the most important room on the ship, the Mahjong room. My key card doesn't give me access. Apparently you have to be a big Mahjong baller to get in there. The main reason that people come on these cruises is for this right here. There are three gorges that this river runs through where it's basically beautiful green lush mountains on both sides. We have just entered into the first gorge and already the scenery is incredible. 
It's reminding me a lot of Ha Long Bay in Vietnam. We just got off the boat to get a closer look at the gorge. There's this city right next to us right now, built into the side of the cliff. And then over on the other side here, it's so cool. There are temples going all the way up to the top of that mountain. I have no idea how you even get up there. I've only ever seen videos of the Avatar Mountains in China, but this is what I imagine they look like right here. Just tall, beautiful limestones. This is incredible. And this little mini boat we're on, so much fun. The Yangtze River is 6,300 kilometers long, third longest in the world, and one of the deepest as well. Right here, it's 100 meters deep, so almost 300 feet. But just look at this view. What's happening? Sing, Chloe. Yeah. Yeah. It's our last night on board and they literally <laughs> are serving pig's feet. And there was a line of people to get it. I feel like I have to try it. It's a delicacy. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not great. I'm too pregnant for this. Any other time, I would not care. We have made it to our final destination, the beautiful city of Yichang. Even though the food has been average on board, I would even say the stops were a little underwhelming, but this has been such a fun cruise. It's been so relaxing, it's been so beautiful, and we've been able to see a part of China that we never would have seen otherwise. I love exploring this country. It has so much beauty, it's so big. And all in all, it was just a good time. We just got on the longest cable car system in the world to ride up to Tianmen Mountain. Not only is it one of the longest, I would say this is probably one of the most beautiful cable car rides we've ever been on. Yeah, we started in Zhangjiajie City. We are now in the mountains. This is a 30 minute cable ride to the top. Did you see Lennon? <laughs> Look, Lennon's! Mama, yes, Lennon! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. whoa. Yeah. We're trying to make all like, the little Mama, passes Mama, fun Mama, and not scary. Mama, Mama. Yeah. Here's another one. All right, here we go. Whoa. Yeah. Ready? Go! Yeah. Yeah. Tianmen Mountain translated in English is the gate to heaven. This does not even feel like it's real. Like, this feels like something straight out of a movie, like Avatar. I have those pictures turned on. Great. Can you see that? Wow, unreal. Look how high up we just came. We were just in that city right there. How did they even build this all the way up here? This is so high. Clearly I'm in shock right now. This is amazing. This is actually so sketchy what we're walking on right now. We're heading over to the main gate of Kinma Mountain. But just to get there is an adventure. Look at this, just right on the side of the cliff. It's not often I get to a place and am left completely speechless. This is nowhere like anywhere I've ever been before. It is so amazing. Did you ever think you would uh, get Burger King this high up? That has to be the craziest Burger King in the world on top of a mountain. Literally. We just put on shoe covers hey, because Chinese people love their glass bridges. This is actually pretty crazy. We came late in the day, so we're the last ones here and we have this all to ourselves. So cool. So we first took the cable car to the very top of the mountain and now we are going to the main attraction here, Heaven's Gate. And it takes eight escalators. You tired? been walking a lot. It takes eight escalators to get to the bottom. We're on number four. The escalators dropped us off at the top of this right here. We're at the top. It's hard to tell what it is. Let's go down to the bottom and I'll explain. So this right here is Tianmen Mountain. We made it. The gate to heaven. It's 999 steps all the way to the top. And then they say if you go through that gate right there, you'll make it into heaven. And look at this sunset in the background. Just a beautiful setting. And this is what it looks like from the bottom. 
We went down that. We didn't even walk all the way up, and I'm still sweating. That was hard. But so worth it. That was really cool. I don't know how it can get much better than what we experienced yesterday, but today we are getting on another cable car to go up to the top of this mountain and see the actual Avatar Mountains. The exact same ones that they based the movies off of, and who knows, it might even be better. Let's go see. There it is! Woohoo! Whoa, it's a little shaky. It's already looking magical. This kid lives a pretty cool life. Disneyland and cable Mama? cars. Yes. Oh my gosh, no way. I did that. Look at that. Here it comes. Would you be mad if I jumped? <laughs> Jordan, Larry, Jordan. It is so hard to navigate around this park. I speak Chinese and it's even hard for me to get around. But we think we got on the right bus. I guess we'll see. Still unsure if this is the right way. <laughs> There's like no clear signs. Just got off at the first bus stop. It is beautiful though. There it is. Oh my gosh. I can just picture myself riding on one of those big avatar dragons. <laughs> my braid is locked in, just flying through here. Look how beautiful that is. We are walking on cliff edges right now that have thousand plus foot drop offs just right here. Sketchiness aside, one of the things that makes this place so special is I've never watched any other videos about this place. So all of this was a complete surprise to me. And I think I would say it exceeds my expectations. Everything about it is just so beautiful and so unlike anywhere else I've ever been. I'm quickly realizing that you need at least three days in Zhang Jiajie National Park to see everything. We had a day and a half. So I've woken up early today. It's six o'clock in the morning right now. I'm going to try and see as much of the park as possible today. There are still so many cool things to see, including this, which I'm stoked to ride. Also, if it's even possible, the mountains look cooler in the morning. There's like a fog around them. It looks a little eerie. I love it. Welcome to China. Hi. Welcome to Taipei. Yeah, amazing. Yes. yes. <laughs> One of the funny benefits of being here so early is there are no other visitors to the park yet. I was on the bus with only Chinese workers who work here, so I've made a whole bunch of new friends here. <laughs> I'm teaching them English, they're teaching me some Chinese. We're all just walking through this beautiful park together. This is our Chinese friend. Ah, thank you, thank you. He said I'm their good Chinese friend. He's taking a picture of my passport right now. Could be sketchy, could be helpful. He said they get a cheaper rate on the cable car to go up to the mountain. So he's like, I'll, I'll just buy it for you. Well, I guess the shady dealings worked. They let me on the cable car. I arrived to somewhere. This is called Huangshi Village. And the locals say that you can get an even better view of the Avatar Mountains from here than you can from the actual place called Avatar Mountains. I don't know if I believe it. I'm a little skeptical, but let's see. View time! It's foggy. One of my favorite things about China is that even in the most inconvenient remote locations, they still have shops and restaurants. Bubble tea. I'm gonna wait out this fog with some delicious boba. Mm-hmm. It's still pretty foggy, but honestly, I kind of like it better this way. Feels more avatar-y. Yes, that's a real word. <laughs> that's funny timing. I was just about to say it's totally worth it to come early to beat the crowds, but right as I was going to say that, an entire group showed up. It's okay, there's still way less people than there normally are. This is one of the only places in the park where you can walk on the actual avatar mountain rocks. So the staircase ends right here. I'm now on the actual rock mountains, which is a little sketchy, but also super fun. I'm sorry if these views are getting repetitive, but it is so epic here. Just out here enjoying a nice walk and boom, monkey. <laughs> he found some snacks. 
Getting to this famous elevator is no joke. From here I have a two hour walk along the river before arriving. So let's, let's time lapse it. Pause the time lapse. I didn't know there was gonna be hopscotch along the way. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> Pause the time lapse again. Shaky bridge. <laughs> Sorry. That just scared a lot of Chinese people. That was mean. Bro, pause the time lapse. Look at this view with the river, the bridge, and the mountains in the background. It's too good. Whatever this is, I'm 100% here for it. Talk about an epic dance setting. Hello. Xiao Mei Mei, I'm Piao Liang Ah, Ni Hao. <laughs> it's getting a little bit toasty out here. Oh yeah. That feels good. Here's a cool spot to take a photo. Check this out. Hello. Hello. Got some seasoned tofu. Mmm. Oh, it's spicy. And the grilled piece of bread. I have no idea what's inside of this. Mmm. Also very good. Got some pork chives in there. Mm-hmm. Not bad for three dollars in the middle of the forest. Coolest building placement in the world. I think so. And finally, I have made it to the tallest outdoor elevator in the world. Right there. This elevator is 1,076 feet tall, making it the tallest in the world. Check out this view. First of all, the music on this... Whoa. The music on this cable car is a complete vibe. Second of all, just wrapped up Zhang Jiajie. This is hands down one of the coolest places I've ever been. The only place we didn't get to see that I really wanted to is the world's largest glass bridge. But if anyone watching this goes, let me know how it is. And thank you so much for watching and supporting.